Hey everyone, Reed here. I want to talk to you today about a great way to add additional value to an already amazing data connector in Power Query. And that's going to be teaching you how to extract multiple tables from Excel files that are sitting in a folder as a data source. I'll briefly discuss why this feature can be useful and then show you a short demo on how to use it in the query editor. Let's consider a scenario. We'll start with a file folder as a data source. And that file folder contains multiple Excel files that we want to access and combine in Power Query. Now the complication comes into play when each Excel file has multiple tables inside of it that we also want to combine. Doing all of this before we finally load the finished tables into the data model. While this may seem complicated, it's actually very easy once I explain it. And it will rely on one primary setting will change when creating this connection in the query editor. All right, let's get started. All right, so I have a new Power BI desktop file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my data sources under the home ribbon and go to get data. And I'm going to navigate down to more. And over here, I'm going to select folder as my data source and select connect. Now in this demo, I've created a folder with a few Excel files in it. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate there, browse, and I put that on my root C drive. See, and data, select that, hit OK. Now you'll notice that I have three Excel files in here, Europe, North America, and South America. The data itself isn't that important. It's more of what we are going to do with it once we navigate inside of these Excel files. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select combine and edit. There we are. You'll notice I now have my combine files menu and it's asking me to select the object to be extracted from each file. And we can see that there are two tables and two sheets. That's what these little icons stand for that are over here. And those represent the objects in mine. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to, with a single data connection that I'm creating, I want to be able to export two different tables from all of these files, the budget table and the sales table separately. So you would think, and this is where the trick comes in, that I would select one of these two, but that's not the case. I instead, for this step, I want to select the folder itself up here, the sample file parameter, and we'll see why in just a minute. So I'm going to select OK. Now you notice that I have a bunch of things under my query section, five different things total. I have my transform file from data folder and all of the subqueries underneath here, plus my final output over here for data. And what I want to do is take all of these things up here that were created for that folder combined data source that we had. And I want to be able to use that multiple times, both for the budget table that's in those Excel files, for the sales table, and then in theory for the forecast or any other number of tables coming from each of those files individually, but also that need to be combined. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this data query here, create two of those. That's going to be step one. Now, an important thing to note as well, too, is if you look over here in the list under kind, you will see that there are two types in there. There are sheets and tables. In general, what I like to connect to are the tables, if at all possible, just because they're more of a contained box of data without any unnecessary junk or stuff like that. Now, what I can do, because that's a step that I'm going to do on both of these for my budget and my sales data. So I'm going to come up to the transform sample file from data up here. And what's going to happen is any step that I add here will be applied on every single file that's being combined from that folder. So if I was to come over here and right click on sheet and say does not equal, that gets rid of the sheets from here, leaving only the tables left as a selection. And I can even say filtered rows, rename that to filtered to removed sheets. There we are. And now I'm going to come back here to my data. And you'll see that there's nothing left but the tables in here. So that's step one. I'm also going to rename data to sales. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete that change type because I don't actually need that yet. The final table is not in here. It still has the table data, as you can see, for each one of these. Now, as you might guess from the name that I called this query sales, that is the table that I want to extract from all of my files, the sales name right here. So I can actually right click that, select text filters equals which adds a filtered step, keeps only the sales tables. And I'm going to update that to say filtered to sales tables. And then that last step appears, I can come to the expand out. So that data column right here, I'm going to hit the expand button right at the top. Get rid of the use original column name, hit OK. And now I've expanded 
to my sales data only from every file, and that could be one, three, five, fifty 50 files. I now have a single query pointing to my folder, getting that specific table out of all the files. And separately, I can do that for that other query I created over here. I'm gonna follow a similar process, delete the change type. I'm gonna filter instead on this one to budget, right click, text filter equals budget, rename that. Give that a better name. And name that budget at the top. And then use that expand option right here. And there we are. Perfect. And we can even see what this looks like up in the dependency view. There we go. We can see that just the sample file is pointing directly to that original data folder. And then there's the parameter and the sample file that is feeding into both my sales and my budget table. There's a few other things in here that I don't want to get too far into the weeds to explain, but I was able to use a single folder combine to extract multiple tables that existed in each of those Excel files. It's a really handy trick. Previously I had done this and I had had to use multiple folder combine queries and it just created a lot of noise in my query editor over here. So this was a nice clean way to do that off of that single connection. All right, that about covers it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below or leave a comment. If you want to see more of these, please click the subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.